Hi guys, I'm Boris Pete, and welcome to another episode of Windows for Wankers. <laughs> I love that name. Today, gang, I'm going to show you how to fix a slow computer. Check this out. So guys and girls, there are a lot of reasons why a computer will be running slowly. What we're going to do today is we're going to address two of the most common issues. Now, for the purpose of this exercise today, we're using a machine that's running Windows 7. Uh, but this will also work the same on a machine running XP or Vista. If you're running Windows 8, then uh, it's a little bit different, and I'll talk to you about that shortly. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Google, and we're going to type in ADW Cleaner. Oh, without the typos. And we're going to search for that. Now, the favourite site that I love to download this program from is uh, Bleeping Computers. Right here, the first one that comes up in the search. So we're going to click on that. All right, beautiful. All right, so we're going to download this little bit of software right now, and then we're going to run it. All right, so when this little uh, bar comes up down here, do you want to run or save? Uh, you can save it if you want, but uh, for the purpose of this exercise today, we're just going to run it. Won't take long. <clears throat> We're going to click on, oh, ya accept, ya accept. I don't know what uh, language this one's in, but anyway, we're going to accept it. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. All right, so what we're going to do right now is we're going to scan our computer. We're going to click on scan and scan it. Now, this scan only takes less than a minute, so... Uh, I'm <clears throat> just going to wait for the scan to uh, to progress. Now, what, what this program does, guys, is it gets rid of any little browser hijackers or any little bits and pieces of crap that are running in the background on your computer. And then shortly, I'm going to show you how to manually go in and uh, delete items in your startup menu. <clears throat> Now, my machine shouldn't be too heavily infected because I don't look at porn. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, it also fixes any registry errors. This is a great little program. And bear in mind, guys, that this program is free. Okay, so the scan is finished. I'm just going to have a little bit of a manual look. Like, you guys don't have to do this, but I'm just going to have a little bit of a manual look to see what's going on in my computer. Registry, so I've got some registry errors there. Okay, I'm going to see if there's any issues with Internet Explorer or Firefox. Oh, Firefox is fully infected. Surprise, surprise. Uh, for you guys that use Firefox, you fucking dickheads, you want to just um, get rid of Firefox. It's a, it's a piece of shit internet browser that easily gets infected and gets attacked. And uh, the proof is right there. Scrolling down there, seeing all the infections that I've got in my Firefox. I don't use Firefox very much, but I still have it installed, and obviously it's fully infected, right? Eh? So I just scroll through those folders here just so I could see what the infections were. Doesn't really matter, you don't have to do that. Now I'm going to click on this clean tab right here. We're going to clean, and we're going to click OK. ABGs popping up. <laughs> um, that might pop up unless you actually have AVG installed. Okay, so AVG's got rid of a threat there. All right, so all our threats should now be removed, I believe. So, guys, if your antivirus program pops up, uh, during the ADW scan, that's quite normal. Uh, just click on Remove Infected Files. Basically, what's happened um, is that the, the programs or the infected files have gotten past your antivirus program, but once ADW picks them up, then all of a sudden, surprise, surprise, your antivirus program is picking them up also. So just click on Remove. Now, what you'll have to do then, gang, is you'll have to come down here 
and click on restart your computer. So uh, do that, re restart your computer, and then I'll show you how to manually clean up uh, items that are running in your startup menu. Okay, click on restart. I'll see you in a second. <coughs> oh, excuse me. That was a fucking good beer burp, wasn't it? <laughs> All right, guys, so the computer has now restarted. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go in and manually uh, configure our startup menu. Now, guys, um, <laughs> Windows has detected that your computer performance is slow. <coughs> good Lord. How's that for a bit of irony? So, guys, uh, the, uh, the, the number one reason, I guess, that computers run slow is because you have a heap of rubbish running in the startup menu. Now, computers by default, uh, any pre-programmed or any pre-installed programs on a computer will be by default running in the startup menu. And whenever you download a, uh, a, a program uh, from the internet or install it from a CD or a DVD, it will also by default be running in the startup menu. And most computers have a mountain of junk running in the startup menu that does not need to be running. So most people don't know how to actually get into their startup menu and how to rectify this issue. And uh, as I said, the number one reason computers run slow is because they have a mountain of crap running in the startup menu. All right, so once again, this is for Windows 7, but uh, it also works for XP, Vista, Windows 7. Uh, for Windows 8, it's a little bit different, but once again, I'll explain that to you at the end of the video. Okay, so we're going to come down and click on the Startup menu here. Click on the Start button. In the Search Programs and Files, we're going to click on MS Config. <coughs> now, MS Config stands for Microsoft Configuration. We're going to click on that link right there. Now, that will take us to a little menu that will pop right up here, like this. And uh, you'll see a tab there called Startup. We're going to click on the Startup tab. Now, I've got most things disabled already on my computer. All right. So all you need running in this menu here is your operating system. So that's Windows and your antivirus. Nothing else. You need nothing else running. So let's just have a look here. Um, Adobe Reader, don't get that running. Microsoft Office, don't need that running. My Canon printer, don't need that running. Facebook Update, HD Audio Control Panel, Skype. All these things you will find are probably running on your computer and you don't need them. So what I like to do is I like to click on Disable All. And then, as I said, all you need is your Windows operating system and your antivirus. So your Windows operating system is generally hidden. So uh, that doesn't show up here. In this case, I've got AVG running on this computer, so that's the only one that I'm going to tick. Everything else you can turn off, guys. Once again, I need to stress on you, we're not deleting anything. We're just stopping it running on Startup. Now, once we've made our changes, all right, we need to click on Apply. Then we need to click on OK. All right. Now, we then need to restart the computer. And this is very, very important. And... Uh, when you restart the computer, you may get a little message popping up saying that you have made some changes to your startup menu. If that happens, then just click on Don't Show This Message Again. Righto, we now need to restart. So I'm down here. I'm going to restart. And I'll see you guys after the restart. Well, there you go, guys and girls. That's how you speed up a slow computer. Guys, I really hope that you've enjoyed this episode of Windows for Wankers. PC repairs for dummies, whatever it is that I'm calling these videos these days. Guys, if you have Windows 8 and you want to uh, apply that fix, then you have to go to your task manager to access your startup menu. So it's, I mean, it's still pretty much the same, but instead of typing in MS config, you just go to task manager and you'll see the startup tab there. All right, guys, hope you've enjoyed it, eh? Don't forget, <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Don't forget going to rate, share this video, drop a comment if you've got anything that you'd like to know, and uh, or if you've enjoyed the video, drop a comment. And uh, if you'd like to join me on Facebook, guys, uh, there's a link down here in the description.
come along and say good day on Facebook. Okay, gang, this is Boris Pete. Love you guys. You rock. <laughs>